Hello everyone, nice to see you all again. Remember last week I showed you my snails, the real one, but I think they like to go back to the garden, especially the day like today, rainy day, they love to be under the leaves. So that's okay. I think Froggy has more things for us to see. Ready? Hello everyone. One, two, three. Open up Froggy. See her? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Eggs again. Let's see. We have pink egg, green egg, and oh, orange egg. Let's open. What do you see? This is the ant. Ant, right? And what's in the green one? Oh, that's a long body one. Do you know what this is? Hop, hop. This is cricket. And oh, pink one. There is a blue butterfly flying, right? These are the creature. They look so different in colors and shapes. They even move differently, right? But they are in the family called insects. Can you say that? Insect. An insect has three bodies. Let's count. Ready? One, two, and three. Three bodies. It's a kind of fat one. And then six legs. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two wings. One, two. Two wings. They probably have eyes too insect oh froggy has more to show us so let's see froggy what else you have oh see the stick sticking out oh these are balloons what color is this it's red what color is this it's blue and what color is whoops this it's yellow let's sing a balloon song do you remember ready red balloon is floating by floating by floating by red balloon is floating by oh here comes the wind and turning to a ladybug what about Blue. Blue balloon is floating by, floating by, floating by. Blue balloon is floating by. Oh, here comes the wind. <gasps> and turning to a dragonfly. Do you know dragonfly? A beautiful insect. And yellow. Yellow balloon is floating by, floating by, floating by. Yellow balloon is floating by. Oh, here comes the wind. <gasps> and turning to a yellow butterfly. Butterfly, dragonfly, and ladybugs. They are all insects, right? And insects, we sometimes call them bugs. This is a sign language, bug. Put the daddy finger on your nose and mommy and brother finger like this. Wave like this, bug. So I have a book called, Come See My Bugs. So whenever you hear the word bug, you can make a sign like this if you like. Ready? Come see my bugs. Come see my red bug. Come see my 
yellow bug. Come see my purple bug. Come see my blue bug. And come see my green bug. Come see my black bug. Come see my bugs. Well, bugs are fun to watch and God made them in such amazing way. So let's thank God for amazing bugs. Ready? Thank you God for amazing bugs. Thank you God for amazing bugs. Thank you God for amazing bugs. Right where we are. Here we go. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Right where we are. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that, that you have given us uh, so many amazing bugs and they are they were made um, so differently and that makes a world of bugs or insects so much fun to see and God you made each one of us uh, in such a unique way we look different what we like to do could be different but help us learn and find who we are in you so that we can build a good friendship with one another and we can make a wonderful community together for you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, Froggy and I have an invitation for all of you. Well, we're going to be on the road and visit, um, and visit some of you, if you like. But we're not coming into your house. We're going to park the car in front of your house and wave like this. So if you like to greet us at the doorstep or through the windows, please email Mrs. Tomoko and let us know. I hope we'll see many of you at your house or else we'll see all of you on the video next week again. Bye. Yep. Good morning, boys and girls. It's so good to see you. And I'm gonna tell you a story today and it's all about, look over here, it's about a bear. <gasps> now my bear, he's sleeping inside his cave. Can you pretend you're sleeping? <gasps> That's right, and my bear has been sleeping all winter long because it's, it's winter and he's been hibernating and that's what bears do. But in the spring, they wake up and they're very hungry and they're very grumpy. And that's where my story begins because all the other animals decided it was spring and they wanted to celebrate spring because they were so excited. So Bunny was jumping up and down. He said, let's have a party. So they all decided that was a wonderful idea. But Bunny said, we have to be very careful not to wake the bear. Shh, don't wake the bear. So they got everything ready and Owl was very excited and he said, hoot, 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 I have the best thing to bring. I'm bringing fishy crackers, my favorite. And he was making so much noise and all the other animals said, Shh, don't wake the bear. So Owl very quietly went over and sat on the blanket. The little mouse was very excited too and he started jumping up and down and he said, I baked cupcakes. And he pulled out his beautiful cupcake and all the other animals said, Shh. Then along came Blue Jay and he said, I want to join too, I want to join too. And 
Blue Jays are very noisy. They go, gah, gah, gah. And he said, I have the perfect thing to bring. I found a beautiful strawberry. And all the other animals said, something special. Every party needs a balloon. So he started to pump up the balloon. Can you help me? And it got bigger. And it got bigger. And he said, I think I can put one more breath in it. And pop! Oh, no, said all the animals. I think we woke up the bear. Sure enough, inside the cave, the bear started to grumble and grumble and grumble and growl. And then he looked outside and he said in his big bear voice, What's going on around here? And all the other animals said in a very scary voice, We're having a party to celebrate spring. Bear looked around and he said, A party? I love parties. Can I come too? And he started jumping, doing his happy dance. And he sat down and he said, I have the very best thing to bring to the party. I've been saving it all winter long. I have my big jar of honey. So they all sat down and they had a wonderful party celebrating spring. And boys and girls, you can have a party too. You can take your picnic basket and you can take your blanket and all your favorite snacks and go celebrate spring. All the beautiful things God has made for us to enjoy. So this week, why don't you have a picnic too, just like my friends did. We're going on a picnic, we're going right away. And if it doesn't rain, we'll stay on. So have fun on your picnic, but before I go, I have one more friend, but he's sleeping too. We need to wake him up. Wake up, Ollie. Wake up. Oh, hello, boys and girls. It's so good to see you. Have a good week and have fun on your picnic. Bye, everybody. Bye, boys and girls. Have a good week. Enjoy yourselves. Bye.